Hello and welcome back to Cooking by Zoe. Today's tutorial is on how to make these delicious coconut rolls. They taste similar to a twist between a fortune cookie and waffle cones with a hint of coconut. These coconut rolls are so delicious, crispy and crunchy. Here the crunch. This recipe calls for just a few ingredients. Here is all the ingredients that you will need. You'll need one and three four cups of tapioca starch, one tablespoon of rice flour, one cup of granulated sugar, two eggs, one can of coconut milk, two to three teaspoons of black sesame seeds, and depending on what flavor you want to flavor these, vanilla, pandan, or ube. In a large bowl, you'll want to add in your tapioca starch, and then your rice flour, and you want to mix these two dry ingredients together. After mixing your dry ingredients, set this bowl aside, and in a separate medium bowl, add in two eggs. Whisk your eggs together very well, and then add in your granulated sugar and whisk those together. Next, you'll want to add this egg and sugar mixture into the tapioca and rice flour mixture from earlier. Mix these together. Next, add in one can of coconut milk, which is 400 ml. After adding in your coconut milk, mix these ingredients together until there is no clumps. Next, this is optional is to add in your black sesame seeds. You can also add in toasted or just regular raw sesame seeds. After your batter is ready, you'll want to add in your flavoring of choice. I'm actually going to be doing three flavors, so I'm going to divide my batter into three portion. I'll be adding in vanilla, ube, and pandan flavoring. If you're not going to be splitting up your batter, then you'll want to add in one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And for the pandan and ube flavoring, you'll want to do one to one and a half teaspoon, depending on how strong you want the flavoring to be. Since I divided my batter into three portion, for the vanilla extract, I added in just one fourth teaspoon. And for the ube and pandan flavoring, I added in half a teaspoon. So give these a good mix and then set them aside and get all of your equipments ready for the rolling and cooking process. For this recipe, you will need a crumb cake maker similar to what I'm using. This is Bethany Houseware brand. This machine has a high and low switch and then when you open this, this is how the inside will look. It has these beautiful designs so when you make your uh, coconut rolls, it'll have these design on it which is really pretty. You'll also need a rolling pin. This came with the crumb cake maker. You'll need a spatula and one tablespoon and a flat surface or a cutting board to roll your coconut rolls. To start the cooking process, make sure your crumb cake maker is turned on. When it is hot, you'll want to add in one tablespoon of the batter into each of these circles. After you have added in the batter, you'll want to close the crumb cake maker and let this cook. The cooking process will be dependent on how hot and the type of crumb cake maker you have. For this type, it took 1 minute and 30 seconds to get a golden color. When cooked, you'll want to remove it with a spatula and then immediately you'll want to roll it using the rolling pin. You don't want to wait too long because the coconut rolls will then harden and it will be hard to roll and it will just crack. To roll these, just follow what I'm showing in the video. At the end of the rolling process, you want to just press down to make sure that the rolls are intact. And then you want to repeat this with the next piece. 
So here we are again, just going to repeat the same process. Even though a portion of this is not a golden brown, it is actually cooked all the way. And if you don't want it to be golden brown, a very light color is also fine. It does cook thoroughly, but if you want that golden color, then just cook it a little bit longer. After completed, you'll want to repeat the cooking process. Add in one tablespoon of the batter into the circle. Okay, so here's a better view so you can see how the cook one looks like once you open the crumb cake maker. So here I'm using my spatula, just grabbing it. And then immediately I'm going to grab my rolling pin and start rolling right away. Again, if you wait too long, then the cookie will harden and it'll be hard to roll. So for me, I don't mind the sizing of this rolling pin, but it is a little bit large. So if you want a smaller size of the coconut roll, you can look for a smaller rolling pin or you can even use a chopstick to roll. Now look at all this pretty design on this coconut roll. It's so beautiful. Next, let's cook our pandan flavoring. Here's how the cooked pandan ones look like. They are just so pretty with that gorgeous green color. Let's go and cook our ube. Pretty, pretty gorgeous purple color from this ube flavor. Alrighty, and here's how our ube looks like. They are just so pretty. I love this ube coloring from the flavoring. So gorgeous. One last thing, if you want, you can definitely add in chocolate to the inside of these coconut rolls. Any type of filling like whipped cream or anything of that sort. Okay, so here is everything that I've made for today. I hope you enjoyed this recipe and thank you for watching.